Hey guys, welcome to my channel, What Would Dare You Wear? And I just wanted to do a short tutorial on how to wear, blend, put on a finger comber wig. So stay tuned. So my first finger comber um, wig that I purchased was the Kinky Curl Out Unit. And I actually purchased three last year. Um, the first one was the wrong color, but I just still rocked it. And then I got two more, one so I could wear for my top knots. And then the second one so I could wear it with like, you know, off to the side, but down. Um, so this is my fourth time purchasing from Finger Comber. I haven't had any issues. I would recommend if you want it quickly um, to do uh, the rush order option because you get it fairly quickly. Um, but yeah, let me tell you guys, and I wanna do a short, very short video on how to put the wig on, how I blend it, and things like that. So the wig I got was the Kinky Curl Out Habisha Bob, and I could be pronouncing that incorrectly, but this is the wig that I purchased. It has like a bob cut, which is what I wanted. Um, and it came to, with the rushed order, and um, I had some credits or whatnot. It came to like 116, which is not bad at all for a wig that, that's gonna last me a couple months or whatnot. Um, so I definitely recommend it if you're looking for something very convenient, because literally, I throw it on in the morning, throw it, take it off at night when I come home from work, and I'm, I'm good. So first things first, I washed, conditioned, um, and detangled my hair. Then I did like, one, two, three, four, five, five straight back braids, so five corn rolls, sorry, five corn rolls. Um, and then I did two twists, in the front because um you definitely want it to be like this parted so that you can throw the wig on right here or you can throw it on back here um the wig that i have has combs on it so that it can go you know attached to my hair and it has a comb in the back as well so that it can stay secure okay um i would recommend getting um a wig cap or yeah get one of these um and then put it on wherever you desire to um I don't know I've been wearing my top knot I wore my top knot yesterday and so I took out both sets of twists but if I'm just gonna have hair you know just to blend in um then you would only want to have that twist exposed Make sure you got all your hair in. Oh, okay. All right, oh, I don't have it all in. Yeah, this is my first video, <laughs> trying it out. Um, so here is the actual unit. It looks so natural. I love it. People think it's my hair, which is fine because that's my goal. Anytime I wear um, sew-ins or wigs or anything, it has to look like it's mine. That's just that's just where I'm at with it. Um, so here are the combs on the top, combs on the bottom, and then it actually comes with like adjustable straps in the inside too. So that helps if your head is a little big or your head is a little small. So, all right, we're about to throw this on. Got the combs in. Grab the back. All right, now make sure you got to pull it down on the sides because you're not supposed to see your little cap. Okay, I think I'm good. All right, so I got the wig on now. Perfect. Um, my twists are a little damp because I went to sleep without doing them. So yeah, you definitely want to make sure your twists are dry. Um, so we're not gonna talk much about mine. Make sure they're dry, because my hair will just poof up, literally. It holds water. So I usually do my twists like 
right before bed so in the morning I know it'll be dry and now I'm just kind of blending it in with the wig hair okay see look at that well it is some edge control popping off and it looks like it's mine one more twist. And I would recommend doing like unraveling your twist with like some type of oil so it still has like a shine or a sheen to it. So it's not like if your hair is really dry that it'll, you know, you just want it to blend really well with this wig. Cause I'm telling you when I went to work, of course, it's like, oh my gosh, I love your hair. Didn't you just have straight hair? I'm like, bro, this is black girl magic. I do whatever I want with my hair. I am a magician. So, yeah, you just kind of want to use your nails to blend it in. Like, just, yeah. Blend it in real good. See, can't even tell, can't even tell it's a wig. Voila, yay. Might not be as puffed up in the back. So yeah, I will insert some photos of me in the wig. And if you have any questions, just let me know. This is my short tutorial on a finger comber wig. Thanks for tuning in.